What's up, MSFers? Hope you had a great weekend. The blog dropped on Friday and it was interesting, but it came with some issues. We'll get into those in a second, but first, let's see what's coming up. Later today, you'll be battling with new warriors in Cosmic Crucible, and on the 30th, you'll be spending arena credits and earning war credits. Remember, you can earn those war credits with alliance credits in the store. Community manager Archangel says, never fear. It was delayed, but Secret Strike will come into effect in war later today, the 28th, server reset. From the blog post talking about the black cat trials, says a four yellow black cat with a run score of 2.2 million points. However, in game, it states 1.35 million for a four star black cat. No word on which way this will go. Hopefully it will go with the in game messaging. And also from the same paragraph in the blog, it talks about ranked rewards with a minimum leaderboard score of 400,000 points. And in game, we have 100,000 points. Also, no word from Scopely on which way this will go. Mobile Gamer talks about that last one in his video. He also covers a Reddit post talking about the hard light campaign and how it seems to be more difficult to get to that four star character. He does talk about a response to some of these Reddit posts in there, and I do agree. I think these characters are becoming more valuable at lower stars, and they are sprinkling in shards throughout the gameplay so that you can get them up to that four and five star level like we used to a year ago. Valley Flying goes over the blog post and the kit reveals to the new Avengers. The reason I bring this up is because there's a lot of discussion over the value of this team outside of war defense, like this video from Benny Westside where he talks about bringing them into Dark Dimension. 6. Now, personally, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with this team. I'd like to skip them as they are a war defense team, but I am considering them for Dark Dimension 6. If their value is there, time will tell. And speaking of Dark Dimension 6, Dorky Dad goes over his review of the global section. He brought in Weaver, but says that Quicksilver might have been a better choice. He thinks that Iron Fist was terrible and was surprised that Dark Beast did so well. Now, Pathfinder Gaming also goes over Dark Dimension 6 and says that Weaver is probably a bad choice overall, taking a deep dive into the Mystic gear. Both of these videos have excellent information for your Dark Dimension 6 run. Boylan also putting out a video about gear. He says it's all or nothing if you're thinking about taking a character into teal gear. Take them to G18 or don't build them at all. Now, I don't necessarily disagree with Boylan's ideas, but there's a counterpoint to the argument coming from Gangster KT. Now, Gangster KT is the only person talking about this 17.5 mini meta. Basically, you're applying one piece of gear into the 17 slots, getting the majority of the value of that gear 18 without the full investment. Be sure to check out both of these videos and see what you think about how you're going to gear your characters. And in other news, Taco Shooter takes over the weekend off for review. He gives more evidence as to the devaluation of gold promos. And ZKG puts out an interesting self-take. It's humorous and enlightening. Be sure to check this one out. If you're hungry for the latest news, don't stay up all night watching all the videos. Just subscribe for the recap. For more of the latest, I'm Run7, bringing you yesterday's news today. Also covering gear, Boylan talks about G18 and how it's all or nothing. If you want to take a gear... In other news, Taco Shooter covers the weekly news. No, this is off for review, although I'd like to see him on the weekly news with Valley. That would be fun. And in other news, Taco Shooter takes over off for review on the weekends. He gives... Son of a...